So my research project is on conflict interactions and power dynamics within ro romantic relationships. I've been working in the relationships lab at Carnegie Mellon University for the past two years, and I've always been particularly fascinated by the conflict discussions that are employed in so many of the studies within the lab. And because of my great interest, I started doing a lot of background research on conflict in romantic relationships. And I found that the literature tends to focus on gender differences in behavior tendencies in conflict and how power dynamics affect overall conflict levels and overall relationship satisfaction. So I'm hoping to fill the gap in the literature by showing how power dynamics can affect individual tendencies in conflict with, in terms of behavior and how this isn't necessarily a gender difference and is more based on the actual power levels. I decided to participate in this fellowship program because I thought it would give me the time and resources I needed to fully immerse myself in my research. I thought working on this thesis project in such a time intensive way without having to divide my attention between my thesis project and my usual schoolwork would allow me to make great strides in my research and I also thought it would be a really great opportunity to make new connections within the Dietrich College of Carnegie Mellon University and I'm really excited for the opportunity. So my research project um very basically, is an analysis of the reign of Francis I of France uh, during the early modern period as a case study for a theoretical formulation of the ways that societies and the states that govern them interact in the frequent and one could say often very violent contest over legitimacy. That is to say, the legitimacy of the state, its right to enact uh, policy that affects society. And um, my question is not a normative one. I'm not trying to see whether the state has made the right or wrong decision but instead to understand the mechanisms by which the state is capable of making that decision. Francis I presents an excellent setting for this. Uh, one, because the state remains intensely personal, governed by one king for a period of 32 years in this case, uh, which means that I can, in a sense, both appreciate the biographical features of the way that the state behaves, the qualities of the king that make him choose one policy over another, and thereby deduce his motivations, but at the same time, because his reign is so long, I can avoid some of the noise that one might find if uh, we were to look at, say, the United States today, where we have administrations changing every four to eight years. I think this opportunity is phenomenally important. Simply looking at my situation, I feel that the scale and ambition of the project that I meant to undertake might not have been feasible under the two semester model. So my project will examine the effects of engaging in volunteer work on cognitive functioning and other health outcomes in older adults. And we'll, we can accomplish this through a longitudinal design, meaning that we'll collect data at two different time points from the same participants. My faculty advisor is Dr. Vicki Helgeson of the psychology department. She's a professor of social psychology. And I've actually been doing research with her for almost two years now. I started with her uh, at the beginning of my sophomore year. And I just continue to be impressed by how much effort she puts into mentoring each of her students. After graduating from Carnegie Mellon, I hope to attend medical school. Uh, just this process, this research process, is something that will give me the skills uh, that I need to maybe com complete bigger projects, hopefully in medical school. I'm researching the Bhutanese Nepali refugee population in Pittsburgh, who I've been working with for the past two years. So it was a chance for me to really delve into understanding their situation um, on another level. So I've previously been a volunteer English teacher with them. Um, but didn't quite understand exactly their situation here or what compelled them to move in as much detail as I would like. So this was a chance for me to really focus on understanding that. I'm really interested in visual anthropology because I'm coming from this art background and also this um, humanities background. So it's a good combination of the two. I think it's a chance for me to really get an understanding of what it means to do anthropology and do ethnography and talk to groups of people and really understand what their needs are and where they're coming from um, and all the messiness with how they choose to define and represent themselves. And my hope is to use anthropology and design and my background in that to better um, build and redesign social systems.